organizing the fifth graduate SEMS conference was a very exciting experience for me. At the same time, it was challenging because of the quality of the abstract, so uh, we had to uh, decide on panels and on abstracts. The important part actually uh, of uh, these graduate student conferences really is that the students decide uh, on the topic. So it's nothing actually that uh, the faculty is involved in. I guess the only important point behind the topics, we do these conferences since 2009 now, is that it's a broad topic which raises interest among different students uh, from different fields so that you get uh, a number of approaches, interests that come together here and you know have a meaningful conference. There have been a lot of very different presentations. We've had material from the 19th century AD back to um, uh, some point in late prehistory, so uh, we've covered a lot of ground. One of the nice things about a conference like this is you get lots of relatively short papers with ideas. I discuss uh, different topics concerning the Georgian monastic life, the emerging, emergence of Georgian monasticism in the beginning of 4th century, in the middle of the 4th century, and the developments of various types of monastic life in Georgia. Whether the field is defined as medieval studies or as history or as cultural and area studies, we're seeing more and more that the development of these interdisciplinary conferences where talks on different subjects come together. And I think this is important to the field because we're seeing that these different cultures that we study, for example, for me, it's Christian cultures in the Eastern Mediterranean and Muslim cultures. They're very much interconnected. They're exchanging with each other, both on the material level and on the cultural, intellectual level, the social level. And so in order to understand these cultures at all, we have to understand them in light of each other. And what CEU is doing is bringing together talks on different cultures and the different aspects of the Eastern Mediterranean and allowing us to learn from each other. So I think it's very important to the field. History's also got another set of challenges in that it's uh, exercise to have a conversation between the present and the past. And every work of history includes statements about the present, st some statements we make without meaning to, some statements we mean to make when we decide that issues like gender or democracy or freedom of speech are important, uh, as well as a connection with the past. And the challenge for a historian is not to distort the past in doing that, but equally not to end up telling a story about the past that has no relevance to the present. I think that uh, Central European University has a major influence uh, in this field because the contact with different uh, scholars is very important for sharing and exchange the ideas uh, because the different papers and different presentations on different topics and different periods and it is uh, from late antiquity till 19th century which is and the speaking and contact is the one major tool to overcome these borders, which I'm speaking about, the borders between the disciplines and the different fields. The topics are not focused on one or two issues, but there's a wide range of topics and wide range of um, people who have different backgrounds. But I think um, a conference should be like that, especially a graduate conference. I think it's really important that Europe continues to have places like the Central European University uh, where that kind of conversation can take place freely, humorously, uh, dynamically, challenge each other, challenge ourselves. And that, so that's been very nice to be part of that here. I enjoy it very much. We had great talks. The sessions were actually very well organized. The chairs did a great job so that you know we also didn't run over time. It, it went very well so far and I hope that the rest of the conference will be like that. Thank you.